What's going on you guys Ray here and welcome back to another video So I am extremely excited about today's video because if you guys were not aware Clash with Ash and Power Bang were given the opportunity to sit down with one of the Brawl Stars dev team members to talk about future things to come to Brawl Stars So things in the discussion that they touched on were Android and global release new game mode changes and game events coming to the game also some quality of life changes they also touched on the newest update to come to Brawl Stars, so this will be coming soon. Um, there's going to be new characters, two new characters in the game. There's going to be some new game modes coming, so uh, we're going to be jumping into the entire contents of the discussion right now. Alright you guys, so Clash with Ash and Power Bang led with the big one. They asked, when is Android and Global coming to the game? And they answered with, unfortunately, there's no news to be given. They said that Android and Global is not coming in this update or in the very immediate future. So we might have to wait a few more months for this. Um, their reasoning is that they want to make sure the game is totally ready for us before it goes global. So if you think about it, there are only four game modes and 16 characters. So they said that they really want to make sure that there's enough content in the game for us before they release it globally. Now, the reason we don't see it for Android is because if they were to release it on Android, it could easily and very fastly um, be distributed around the world. They were explaining that it's almost like it would be as easy as a link to click and then it'd be out for the world to play. And they want to avoid this because they want to keep the population of the beta, they want to keep the population as small as possible to get the feedback in the game. So if you think about it, beta is made for testing. So they want to make sure that it is a small population before it goes global. So I understand there. So kind of bad news in the beginning. Uh, we might not be seeing global or Android release for a few months, but we have to stay patient and understand that Brawl Stars is making us a quality game and we have to think longevity for Brawl Stars and the game to come. For the next question, they asked how many Brawlers are we actually going to see in the game? So they're a little nervous that the more Brawlers you add to the game, the harder it's going to be to keep the uh, Brawlers balanced amongst themselves. So um, they responded that there still needs to be a lot of Brawlers in the game. So we can expect a lot more brawlers to come. They said that they're going to address the problem of balancing once it comes. So be excited for more brawlers to come in Brawl Stars. I know I am. All right, Clash with Ash and Power Bang next asked the question, what are you not comfortable with about the game? So the reason they asked this is because they've said time and time again that the reason they haven't released it globally is because there's not enough in the game and they're not comfortable with their content. So this question really addresses that topic. Um, they responded that they just want more brawlers, more game modes, more skin, more profile images, and they explained that this just takes time. So they really want these things to be added to the game before it is released globally, which I am excited for. Next they touch on the topic of quality of life changes. So they said that they want to implement band mail, which is awesome. Also they want to have more roles to elder and co-leader so that you can really tell who's active in the band. So I totally agree with this. I feel like the bands right now, it's really hard to tell who's active and who isn't. Um, so I really like this. Also, they are adding a brawler drop down menu. So you guys know when you're selecting your brawler to play in a uh, group or with your band, um, cycling through the brawler can be a little bit annoying if you cycle past the brawler that you want to play. So they're adding a drop down menu so that it's easier to select your brawler. So next they addressed maps in the game. So they want to add more maps to the game events so that it will be more fair for every single brawler to play in. So, uh, for example, in Showdown, you guys know that some maps really benefit the Shellys and El Primos. And then the longer range brawlers have a bit harder time playing on. Um, and in the last balance change update, they really added um, a dynamic so that the long range brawlers have a bit easier time playing in Showdown. However, they want to add even more uh, game modes and maps to showdown like game modes with rivers in them or open spaces so that it will benefit the long range shooters even more. So I really enjoy this. We'll be seeing a more diverse brawl set in uh, showdown. So we'll be seeing more characters like Colts or Brocks or Ricochets in showdown. So this should be really interesting. All right, so next they address game event tweaks. So they enjoy the teaming in Showdown, so they're not going to be changing that. They enjoy that dynamic where it's almost like Hunger Games. So I kind of agree with that. I kind of like that as well. 
Um, also, they address heist. They want to make sure that this, the winning percentage is as close to 50-50 as possible. So you guys know that I have complained a little bit that attacking can be a little bit harder than defending. So there's going to be changes being made so that the percentage is as even as possible. Also, they're making changes to bounty. I'm sure you guys have noticed that it is very swingy. So if you're doing super good the whole game, you have a bunch of bounty stars, and then at the very end you die and the other team wins, they want to make sure that it's not so swingy by adding uh, at the beginning of the game you're going to get two bounty stars so that it kind of uh, addresses the swingy nature of Brawl Stars and kind of negates that um, losing at the very end even though you do great 90% of the game. So I like these changes. Alright you guys, so everything that we have discussed so far in this video have been changes to the existing game. However, at the end of their discussion they brought up things that we will be seeing in the newest update, the nearest update to come. So we will be seeing a new game mode. It's called Brawl Ball at this point. It could be subject to change. Um, so it's kind of like a soccer match. So there's going to be a ball starting in the middle of the map. Um, so there's going to be teams three on three. Um, once you pick up the soccer ball, the main goal is to walk it into the other person's goal. And all this time, while you have the ball, the other team is going to be attacking you. It's going to be crazy. Um, when you have the ball, you're not able to attack. Uh, your attack animation will be you kicking the ball. So very excited about this game mode. It's going to be super fun. All right, you guys. So next, there's going to be two new brawlers coming to the game. Um, the first character is going to be more of a mystic character. So her basic attack is going to be her throwing out three cards that passes through people. So it's going to be kind of like Nita's attack where if you hit someone, it has the potential to go through them and hit someone else. So very excited about this. Now I am very pumped for her super. So it's going to be a black hole grenade where when she throws it and it expands on the ground, it sucks in the other team into the center of it doing damage over time. So thinking about some strategies here. If you're spike and you throw down your super on the black hole grenade, it's going to do so much damage, slowing the characters. And I mean, it would kill all of them. So very awesome strategies to come with this new character. And I'm super pumped about what she can do in the game. So the next brawler is the minigunner. So the test servers were correct. Um, we're seeing the minigunner going to be coming to the game. Now her name isn't going to be the minigunner. She still doesn't have a name. So her main attack is going to be a spread shot that does good damage to the whole team. However, it's not going to do a lot of damage to one character. Um, so they said that this is going to be good against characters like Mortis that are hard to hit. So you're going to get good damage up against Mortis. Now her super is she sets down uh, a small object that when it's up it heals the entire team. So it's going to keep healing until you destroy that object that she slows uh, that she sends out. So very excited about this character as well. So more changes that are going to be coming to the game in this newest update is the trophy cap is going to be removed. So I know you guys know that the people at the top of the leaderboards right now are stuck at 8,000 trophies. They can't go any higher because there is a cap. So that's going to be removed. However, it's going to be really, really hard to get trophies once you hit that uh, 500 mark in each of your characters. Also, they're going to add seasons to the game, kind of like Clash Royale, where if you're above 500, you'll lose your uh, percentage of your trophies once the season resets. So very, very excited about this. What it's going to do is we're going to be able to see who are the really the best brawlers in the game right now. So really excited about that. Also, there's going to be a little bit more quality of life changes and some balance changes coming to the characters. All right, you guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are as pumped as I am for these changes that are coming very soon. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of the discussion itself so you guys can check out the gameplay of the new characters and the game mode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Also, comment below what you think of these new changes to come and whether or not you're excited for them. Also, if you guys are enjoying the Brawl Stars content, make sure to subscribe to the channel to help support me. I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, you guys, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.